Have you ever wondered which watch has the brightest loom? Well, you clicked on the right video. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am the local watch guy and today I have an exciting video for you guys. Well, it is the battle of the looms. Let's see which watch has the brightest loom of them all. Let's go ahead and see which watch has the brightest loom. I know that when I first started getting... I know when I first started getting into watch collecting, I wanted to know which watch had the brightest loom and that to me was the winner overall. So to conduct this experiment, I will be using the UV light and I'll be switching the lights off as well as the softbox or any other light in my room just to see which loom lasts longer or simply has the brightest sort of luminescence. The first watch we're gonna test is, well, we'll start simple. We're gonna go with the Casio Oak. Very simple watch, um, the gray Casio Oak. I made an unboxing video on this and I also recently bought a clear Casio Oak, but let's get straight to the point and see how the loom of this watch goes. Let's go ahead and shine the UV light on it. Simply press this button and you'll see that the hands simply glow and that's pretty much it. So if you just leave it to shine for a little bit and release, you'll see some of the loom. Now we're gonna switch the lights off and see how strong the loom of the Casio Oak is. You'll see that it is pretty strong. So there we go, guys. That is the loom of the Casio Oak. We're gonna put this to the side and compare the other watches. To charge the loom is pretty simple. All you do is just shine a really bright light on it. Um, you can either use your phone and any other um, external light. So now we have the Oris Pro Pilot X and we're gonna test the loom using the UV light pen. You can see what shines and what doesn't shine. So simply the two hands, the second hands and the markers around the dial. So let's go ahead and switch the lights off. A very, very nice loom, very bright. I was actually surprised that the uh, Oris Pro Pilot X has this strong of a loom. Um, although it is simple, you know, it's not the whole dial or anything, but it's pretty bright, believe me when I tell you this. And, you know, overall, a very good looking color. We have the Oris Big Crown um, Automatic, which is obviously in bronze. Everyone knows this watch, very famous. Let's go ahead and shine the UV light on it for a second. And you will see that pretty much everything lights up. And it's a pretty, pretty cool effect. So let's go ahead and switch the lights off. A very beautiful loom. All the numbers, I mean, a very nice sort of dark green kind of loom. Overall, very impressive. I would say possibly um, one of the brightest looms I've ever seen and very impressive um, for its price and size you get a very, very decent loom. Now, let's go Rolex. Everyone loves Rolex, but I don't know if people have seen the Explorer 2's loom. Well, today I'm gonna be showing you it. And I believe this watch is not a diver's watch, but let's go ahead and test the Seiko SKX. I just know that this is gonna be a very, very bright loom. So obviously under the UV light, you see that everything um, sort of glows up and this actually has an aftermarket bezel around it. it's a ceramic bezel as compared to the stock skx which i will show you in a second so obviously this has the luminescent material inside the dial as well as on the bezel let's go ahead and switch the lights off and see how this watch will look in the dark look at that that is unbelievably bright now i'm a huge fan of the seiko's loom just simply because it's different um, you won't get a lot of watches that will look like this in the dark. And to me, this is a keeper. Even though it's a simple, cheap watch, not the most expensive watch in the world. However, um, I made a ton of reviews on it uh, just to show you how bulletproof of a watch this is. So this is the famous SKX. And this is obviously with the Pepsi bezel around it. So obviously... The only loom that will show is around the middle. And unfortunately, the only loom that will show on the bezel is the marker here at the top, as you can see. So if you simply switch the lights off, you will see how bright it is. And this actually has a nice, simple colored loom. Uh, when I first got into watches, I was a sucker for any watch with good loom. And even though I had no idea what the point of the loom was, 
I just wanted the watch with a really right loom. And that to me, you know, was just an instant purchase. So here we have the Seiko with the Hindi or Arabic dial or whatever you want to call it, obviously with the day and date. Um, uh, this watch does not have manual winding. It's simply just an automatic movement, but all in all, a very good watch. And I may need to do a full review on it just to tell you how beautiful this watch is. So let's go ahead and shine our special UV light on it. You will notice that the markers around the dial will loom as well as the luminescence on the minutes and hour hands. So a very simple loom on the watch. Um, I wouldn't say it is the brightest. I definitely would not compare this to the SKX brightness. However, it is pretty decent. Um, this watch was literally only 69 Kuwaiti dinars. And for what you get, you know, in terms of thickness and the classic look, as well as the automatic movement, this watch is a very, very good watch. And I may need to do a full review on it just to show you um, the full features and benefits of this watch. So overall, I would give this a 6 out of 10 for a loom score. I don't think a lot of people know this watch or have ever seen it on my channel, but it is the Rolex Oyster Perpetual. It is a very old Rolex. I'm not exactly um, entirely sure uh, how old it is, but let's go ahead and test the loom and see how right it is. So you see that the numbers light up, showing you that the 9 o'clock six and the three as well as the luminescent material on the hours and minutes hands light up so let's go ahead and switch the lights off so we can compare and see how bright it is compared to the other blue and i noticed that the auris has the um, light green and this has sort of the you know lightish blue color so it's very interesting to see that some watches have different colors of looms and these would be very important underwater you know, um, judging that majority of these watches are dive watches. However, to me, you know, a loom of a watch just gives it a really nice touch. So that's pretty interesting. A very nice and subtle loom. I would say more towards, you know, a light bluish, greenish, um, depending on where you view it. But, you know, under the UV light, it would seem blue. Obviously, the ultraviolet light has the uh, purple tint to it. Okay, so last but not least, it is the Seiko SPDC 101 or the SPB 143. I have made a ton of reviews for this watch. I've made an Arabic review recently. This watch is my daily beater. I wear this every single day on every single occasion. That is how much I love it and the loop on it is just crazy. This is obviously a dive watch. Without further ado, let's test the loom on it and you will see that it has a beautiful and bright green loom. That is absolutely insane. And to me, it is just very, very good looking. And when I tell you this guys, pictures do not do this watch justice. Um, in real life, this loom is very, very bright. And I would obviously give this a loom score, you know, being 10 the brightest and one being the least brightest, I would give this a solid 8.5 out of 10. So the last watch um, for today for the Loom Wars or the Loom Battle is the Swatch Fly Magic. Now, I do not have high hopes for this just simply because, well, having, you know, a ton of loom in the swatch may seem a little pointless, but let's go ahead and test and see how bright it is. So we shine our trusty UV light. You'll see not much looms except the tiny little tips of the minute and hour markers. So if you go ahead and switch the lights off, you will see the loom and well, it's a little disappointing. I wouldn't say it is the brightest and obviously there, I don't think there's any place to place this loom, but you know, I put up in the competition just to test it and compare it with the, the other watches that I have. Now I'd give this a solid loom score of a three out of 10. And unfortunately it is a low score but I will be providing, um, you know, a score for all the watches that I listed and just to show you or give you an idea of which watch has the brightest loom. So obviously those of you who don't know, um, the purpose of a loom on a watch or to be specific on a diver's watch is just to simply make it more visible uh, for people to read it under low light conditions. That is all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for tuning in the local watch guy channel. And if you haven't subscribed, just make sure you subscribe so you can stay tuned with more content that I'll be releasing very shortly. And if you have any other video suggestions or ideas, do let me know down in the comments below and I'll see you guys soon. Take care. <music>